Hey there, cartoon fan. Welcome to my review of Powerpuff Girls Dance Pants. The special begins with, what else, a giant robot attacking Townsville. So, a typical Tuesday. The robot kidnaps a mathematician, an opera singer, and a badger. But the metal monstrosity is foiled by Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. The mech was, of course, the product of Mojo Jojo. As a reward for saving the day, the prof buys the puffs a new video game, Dance Pants Revolution. But after the team is almost torn apart by Bubbles' game compulsion, the puffs decide to give it up. But what's that? A mysterious package at the door? It's Dance Pants Re-Evolution 2, the only game that turns the player into the dancing cyborg minions of Mojo Jojo. So the mecha puffs re-kidnap the fat lady, the bean counter, and the woodland mammal. But Prof Utonium ain't about to let his girls join the dance collective, so he's gonna cut a rug, nice phrase, Grandpa, to save the girls. But he fails because he ain't got no moves. So he just starts bawling his eyes out like a pansy. The sight of something so pathetic snaps the three bees back to normal and they kick mojos. The special was okay, it didn't blow my mind or anything, but it wasn't bad. Okay, let's start with the elephant in the room, that art style. It pretty much looks like the animators from South Park got told they were making a Team Fortress 2 show, but then they had to change it to Powerpuff Girls at the last minute. It's not bad, but it is a major departure from the art style used on the original show. But everyone is still very recognizable, and I think I could get used to it. But if you can't, I won't blame you. The animation quality is... Interesting. The characters have a weird sort of jerky movement, but then there are other scenes where the camera pans and everything moves all nice and smooth. So I guess the creators wanted the characters to move this way. Comedy-wise, the show's sense of humor, a combination of historical and pop culture references, complete non sequiturs, and damn near fourth wall breaking winks to the audience is pretty much intact. The show's original voice cast is back, very, very cool. And they're joined by a special guest, former Beatle Ringo Starr. Does he play the single luckiest drummer on the face of the earth? No, he plays an Elton John-esque mathematician named Fibonacci, and yes, there's an Octopus's Garden reference. The dialogue sounds a little bit wonky at times, especially from Blossom. She sounds like a pint-sized load of Shatner. But more importantly, the personalities of the cast are all intact. The professor is a suburban dad with a brain the size of Neptune. The mayor is an incompetent dolt who couldn't be trusted with a goldfish. So, a uh, typical politician. And Miss Bellum is the only reason Hugo Strange hasn't turned Townsville into another city-sized prison. As for our three leading ladies, Bubbles is a naive sweetie pie, Buttercup is just plain awesome, but Blossom seems to be channeling Invader Zim in that she tends to swing wildly from fairly intelligent to a complete moron. But overall, she's a good leader. So yeah, these are the Powerpuff Girls you know and love, but the star of the show is Mojo Jojo. He does it all. He's funny when he wins, he's funny when he loses, and he gets hit in the face with a rake. So Mojo's the man. Now all I need to do is figure out why the show was made. I mean, if this is part of a planned revival for the Powerpuffs, it seems like changing the art style would just antagonize existing fans. But if the point of this thing is to introduce new viewers to Powerpuff awesomeness, it seems like one 30-minute special isn't gonna cut it. So let's break down the good and the bad in Powerpuff Girls Dance Pants. On the good side, this special is definitely true to the original show. Everyone's back and in fine form, the jokes are funny, and the action ain't half bad. Plus, they got a beetle. On the downside, the art style doesn't really work for me, and the main story is sort of weak. Finally, I just have to ask why this was done. Not that I'm complaining about more Powerpuff Girls, mind. So I give Powerpuff Girls Dance Pants 3 out of 5. If you're a fan, this is more or less on par with the original show, but it's not really equal to the best of what the Powerpuff Girls were capable of. Thanks for watching, I'm the Stupid Private. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.